So you may have heard of the solid color challenge in The Sims, where basically the whole idea is to make a house that is all one color. And there's kind of two ways to do this. You could go the super chaotic route, where for example, if you're trying to make a red solid color house, if there's not a red toilet, then too bad, so sad, you don't get a toilet. Or you could go the more like inspired route and maybe use some accents, allow yourself a coffee table, have not so ugly windows, you know, stuff like that. And today I tried to do the less wacky kind of solid color challenge, where I built a house that is all yellow, but it's not like all yellow. Does that make sense? So here it is. Shockingly, I built it in Newcrest. I always build in Newcrest. It's just because these lots in Newcrest have good lighting. <laughs> the sun is like always at a nice angle to make the house not look ugly with weird shadows. So I always build here in Newcrest just because it's easy. And today is no different. Also, this style of house is one that I kind of go for a fair amount. It's it's a little craftsman-y kind of house. I know I build a lot of houses like this. It's because I dream of living in a house like this, okay? I'm sorry. I know I keep doing it, but it's because I look at this and I want want to cry because I want this house. <laughs> I want to live in a house this style so badly. It's like my favorite kind of house ever. And I saw a little picture of like a cute little yellow craftsman house and I was like, yep, that's the one. Yellow house, let's do it. I actually built this on stream the other day and there was some discussion about what kind of house we were going to build because we knew we were going to do a solid color kind of inspired builds, but we had a little bit of a poll to decide what color it would end up being between pink and yellow. And the options were actually banana or Peppa Pig. <laughs> I don't know how this has happened, but Peppa Pig has kind of um, taken over my life recently. It's actually quite terrible. Luckily, we narrowly avoided her in this build, thank God. But I did a Peppa Pig stream last week, and I'm not kidding when I say that. Like, I, I did a Peppa Pig stream. I've been raising money for St. Jude all month on my Twitch channel, and so I've been doing a lot of rather chaotic things as, like, charity incentives, and one of them was that I promised I would play the Peppa Pig game. There's a game called My Friend Peppa Pig, and Dan got it for me for Christmas for my Switch. I wish I was kidding. I'm I'm dead serious. He bought it for me as a joke because somebody in his Twitch chat recommended it. Again, as a joke. And so I, on Christmas morning, unwrapped my friend Peppa Pig for my Switch. Here she is in all of her glory. And I promised that I would play this game on stream if we raised like $30,000 for St. Jude. And as of today, recording this, we have raised $220,000 for St. Jude. And so I had to play the game. But I also dressed up like Peppa Pig. I put on a pig costume. Oh, big mistake. Not just the costume, but the game itself. I have never hated a game more than I hate this one. Obviously, it's a children's game, like, it's for little kids, but it is so repetitive. The whole idea is that, like, you're Peppa Pig's friend, and you're hanging out with Peppa, and it's like, oh, Peppa wants to go see Grandma, let's go to Grandma's house, and oh, Peppa wants to go to school, let's go see Peppa's friends, and they keep calling you Peppa's friend. Hi, Peppa's friend, and then they have this dialogue that just plays over and over again, like, when you have to get in the car with your parents to drive to Grandma's house, or, like, to drive to wherever. There's, like, these guys blocking the road and they're like, oh, hi, Peppa. Sorry, we're doing some road work. And then you have to listen to the same little like three minute spiel about the road work every single time. And then at one point, grandpa was like, let me show you my aeroplane. And I had to listen to the same like five minute spiel about the aeroplane like four times. Oh my God. I never want to hear about planes or road work ever again in my life. This game is cursed and she has infected every aspect of my life. Everywhere I go, people won't stop talking about Peppa. So I think at some point this week I'm gonna make a Peppa Pig build, but this is not that build. <laughs> Today is not the Peppa Pig speed build. We aren't there yet. This is the yellow speed build, the banana speed build, according to my Twitch chat. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to go on like an extended Peppa Pig rant. I really, I truly apologize. It's just a sore subject for me right now. I've been through a lot this week because of her, so. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, as you can see, the house is kind of coming together. It's actually quite big. This house is very small scale-wise, but I fit a lot of rooms into it. This is like my dream house for actual Sims gameplay because it has everything I need, but it's not too spacious. I don't like when my Sims have too much room because when you live in big giant houses, they get lost. They're slow, so they take forever to get to the kitchen. They, they get distracted on their way to the kitchen. If you have a smaller house, there's less room for them to cause you pain. So small houses are ideal as far as I'm concerned in this game. And it's actually quite nice. It's a four bedroom, two bathroom house. It even has laundry. You'll see there's like a main bedroom downstairs and then three more bedrooms upstairs. And there's one bathroom upstairs and one bathroom downstairs. It's kind of weird because the only way to the back of the house is through like the parent's bedroom, which obviously is not like super ideal. It'd be nice to have like another access to the backyard from the rest of the house that doesn't require going through someone's room. But I thought it was nice still. And look, that's more of an issue in real life. In The Sims, 
really who cares? Your guests are gonna go into your bedroom anyway. Like, your guests are gonna go on there and sit on your desk and use your laptop anyway. So, really, does it matter that they have to walk through your bedroom to get out to the backyard? It doesn't, because they would, even if they didn't have to. So, anyway, and obviously you can see that the whole thing is very yellow. I used a lot of Dream Home Decorator in this house because there's so many good yellow swatches in that pack. We've got yellow counters, we have a yellow sectional sofa, we have a little, like, blue and yellow rug, all of the bedrooms are yellow, but I did manage to incorporate, like, a few different accent colors. Like, the, the rug is blue and yellow and not just yellow, because I wanted it to be, like, bright and sunny, but not, like, you know, a banana peed all over the house. I'm sorry, that's disgusting. I don't know why I said that, but I wanted it to be, like, reasonable still, okay? It's yellow, but it's not, like, unreasonably yellow. That was what I was going for, and I think we achieved it. I also kind of got the chance to use a lot of different fun rugs. This house has a lot of packs in it, I apologize, but I did get the chance to use a lot of different fun things that I don't often get to use. There's so many good swatches on a lot of these rugs that I don't often really touch, and it's kind of a fun thing to, like, branch out from my, my usual, like, blue and beige color scheme <laughs> and try and do this, something a lot brighter. So I had a lot of fun doing this house, and I really like doing it on stream, too, because it's fun when I'm really enjoying a build and the whole chat is also there and enjoying it, too, and we're all kind of, like, throwing out suggestions and stuff. So if you like that kind of thing and you want to see this kind of thing live and see the full build, I do always stream most of my builds on Twitch. At least builds like this, like the speed build types that I, I show you a sped up recording. My name's just Lil Simsy on Twitch, same as on YouTube. I'll have it linked down below. And also, we're raising money for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital for the entire month of May, and we're still going. So, actually, as I'm posting this video, I've got a 24-hour stream going on. It's like an idle stream. Essentially, I have left my Sims game unpaused and running overnight for 24 hours to see what happens. I'm starting it, for me, in exactly two hours, <laughs> so I need to hurry up and finish this video. But I'm gonna be live for, like, the next 24 hours from 4 p.m. Saturday until 4 p.m. Sunday Eastern time, just leaving my game unpaused. So if you're watching this, like, right when it gets uploaded and you want to come pop in and see, it might be worth just popping by and, like, seeing what's going on because I'm so curious. By this time tomorrow, I anticipate that, like, maybe a couple Sims will be dead. Maybe a baby will have been taken away. I don't know. Possibilities are endless. I don't really know what to expect. I did it once before. I did it for 12 hours last time, though. And in that 12 hours, Vlad burned up to death. We had two babies born. Eliza Pancakes woohooed, like, half the household. I mean, it was wild. <laughs> I made a video, like, kind of breaking down everything that happened. I'll, I'll link that down below if you want to see it, because it's obviously a lot easier to watch a 14-minute video breaking down what happened in a 12-hour idle stream <laughs> than it is to catch the stream, so I'll link that for you. But I'm so curious to see what happens in, like, double the time. What what else could go wrong? I, I don't even want to begin to guess. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Back to the build. I have had the most fun furnishing these bedrooms up here. I don't know why, but sometimes I kind of get in the habit of just, like, using the same decor in, like, every kid's bedroom. And in this one, I went wild. And I was doing it all based on the rugs. It's kind of interesting to have that, like, as your main starting point, because normally I pick the room based on the bed. Like, I'll pick the bed first and then base everything else around it. But in these, I picked the rug first and then based all the other decor on that. And I feel like it turned out really well. So maybe that's the key. Maybe the rug is the key for designing better kids' bedrooms in this game. Honestly, designing any bedrooms. Because I use rugs as the starting point for the whole house, for the master bedroom, for the living room. I use the rug to kind of, like, work everything else around. So maybe I should do that more often. Maybe the rugs are the key. Oh my god. I just, like, looked behind me because I heard a noise. <laughs> I think it was my cat, but I saw Rick laying there and I genuinely scared myself. I, like, jump scared myself with him. I bet I've been scaring you all week with this thing. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. This is also part of my St. Jude charity stream. <laughs> That's my cardboard cutout of Rick Astley. I wish I was kidding, but I'm not. For a while, I had him, like, standing here in this side off camera for the last whole year. And then I had him behind the tree for a little bit. You might have seen him. And now I decided to lay him down because I thought he might be tired after standing up for so long. But now he looks like that. And for some reason, it's scarier when it's horizontal. I don't know why. People keep asking me if he's okay. They'll comment in my chat. They're like, hey, what happened to Rick? Like, is he good? Did he break? No, he's just asleep. Yeah, he's fine. <laughs> he's all good. Still scary, but all good. You know, even in a house like this, though, I'm watching this footage back and I'm kind of giggling to myself because this is like the most annoying thing that I do to people. I never, ever, ever paint the walls until the very end. I, for some reason, I think it's because I don't really like the wallpaper in most of this game. Like, I don't really enjoy a lot of the wall options that we have, so I kind of try to avoid doing it. I put it off. I procrastinate because I just know I'm going to be disappointed in my selection, and so I always do wallpaper last. I, like, in this, 
this, I furnished the entire house before I put wallpaper in. I did the whole upstairs and then I came back to the downstairs and the last thing I did in the entire interior was put wallpaper. And I know like so many people start with the wall paint, which makes total sense. I just, I don't. <laughs> I don't like picking the wall color, so I avoid it. And I think it turned out okay though on the inside. And on the outside, oh my gosh, I am so beyond happy with the backyard. I think you're gonna love this. So the backyard is kind of small, but I managed to fit in a lot of things. In the left side is like all of the patio space you'll see. And on the left, I managed to fit in an outdoor kitchen. There's a big table. There is a hot tub. There are some lounge chairs. And then there's swing set on the grass and a garden all in that little tiny backyard. I think it's so fun doing that when you have like a small space to just maximize like every aspect of it. I feel like that's kind of where I like flourish when it comes to Sims builds. I don't really like doing big houses. I don't like having big open spaces. I want clutter and like little tiny cozy areas. That's what I dream of. I don't really like doing mansions in the Sims so much. So this kind of thing is like right up my alley and this backyard especially I thought was like the perfect size. I did kind of have a hard time with the landscaping. I managed to put a lot of pink flowers in. I also used those really pretty flower boxes from Get Famous and I think that it kind of works. I feel like it's nice to have that slight accent color and the inside most of the accent is blue but then out here the accent is mostly pink and honestly pink and yellow and blue and yellow are both like top tier combos. You can't really go wrong with those, let's be honest. Couple other cute things to note. Number one, obviously there's a rocking chair outside. I also used the Nifty Knitting Mailbox. It's pink. They didn't have a yellow one. I was kind of trying out a few different options because we have like the cats and dogs, like dog and cat mailboxes, but I thought those like didn't really work. And then that Nifty Knitting one I felt like looked really cute because it had the flowers and the little stripe. I just, I felt like it was kind of appropriate for this sort of style. I also used that super cute bike and I so wish this bike was easier to get. I kind of avoid using it because it's like a weird item. I don't know if you knew this, but they had a pre-order bonus for Cottage Living and I hate that they did this because the items were great, but the idea of like a limited time thing that you can only get if you bought Cottage Living early enough is really frustrating to me because they have this great bike with a super cute little flower basket in the front. It's like one of, in my opinion, the cutest items in the entire game. Even if you bought Cottage Living, you still just can't get it anymore. And that's the thing, right? Cottage Living is expensive. It's $40 and they go on sale so often. I I'd wait to buy it too. <laughs> like I, I get early access to it because I make videos on it, but like if I was a normal person, I would absolutely wait to buy it too for it to come on sale. But then you miss the bonus. So like it just, I don't know. I think that sucks. I hope they don't do it again. I love the item, but I wish it was just like in the pack and not like in a weird pre-order bonus. They had never done that before. It was their first time trying it. And I really hope that it does not happen again because I did not like that at all. You know what else? It's kind of weird because the game classes it as being base game. Like those items, it was a gnome, a tree, and that bike. The tree has like a, like a little bunny house in it. It's kind of cute actually. But those three items, the game classes them as being base game. Like when you filter by the base game, they show up. They don't have a little pack icon, but they were cottage living reorder bonus items. I don't know. I just, I don't like the idea of that. And I hope they don't do it again. Cause obviously items are good. We'll always take stuff, but it just sucks that you all can't get it now. So I kind of try to avoid using those things because then like, then what? <laughs> you just can't have it? Like that sucks. Back in the Sims three days, I didn't make YouTube videos at the time. I just watched them. I wasn't a YouTuber. I was like 12, but um, I, back in the Sims three days, I used to watch like all of the Simmers and I used to get so jealous of all of the store content they had because they all had like the Sims three store stuff. And I thought it was the coolest thing in the entire world, but it was so expensive. We're talking like you'd pay over a dollar for one hair. Like the store content was ridiculous in The Sims 3. If you think kits are bad, oh my God, look up The Sims 3 store. It is absurd. But I used to be so sad because they would use all these cool things and I just, I couldn't even get packs, let alone the store content. So I oftentimes try and do like a lot of limited pack builds. I try and do like a real half and half of like builds like this where I kind of just, you know, use whatever. But then I also do a lot of base game builds or like base game and just university because that way hopefully there's a, a good enough balance and I don't like make anybody sad because I really do know the feeling of of, of wanting to have these items and just not having them. And then there's things like this bike that you can't even get anymore. I'm sorry, I'll stop talking about it. I'll stop. And now that I've shown you the whole speed bill, I wanna pop into the game and give you like a proper tour of the house. You know, I won't lie. I don't actually know what save I built this in. <laughs> I don't remember. I think it was this one. Aha, it was, ooh, it was, but it's all gone. Hmm. <laughs> 
Hmm, where is my yard? Okay, it's a good thing it's on the gallery because somehow it all disappeared. By the way, it cost 62,000 simoleons, which is a little bit pricey. So for that, I apologize, but this is the finished product. And can I just say, I think it is so cute. I put a couple little details, like we've got some fireflies in here. So in game, in live mode at nighttime, you'll see little firefly effects. There's a cute little rocking chair on the front porch. And then when you actually come into the house, it's not huge. I mean, this whole space is the entire living area. We have a kitchen, right? Right here by the front door. I did this like two-tone cabinet thing. I used the Dream Home Decorator counters and then the other cabinets and I think this looks so cool. I also put the lemons here and the bananas because yellow house. <laughs> but I was like overall really really pleased with this kitchen. We snuck a little bit of pet bowls down here. We also have a little seating area back in this corner. We have some umbrellas, a little living room space. I imagine this family has a small dog so we have like some dog toys. Thermostat, I did not forget it. And then back here is the the main bedroom for the parents. They have like a little desk space, a little pet bed. We also have this area. I am obsessed with like this rug and that bed on top of it. I think they look so good together. And they have a little ensuite bathroom down here. Don't worry, it does still work. They'll just walk right through that robe. Trust me, I've tested it <laughs> and I think it looks cute and I don't really care about the visual glitch of it. Downstairs, we also have like a little teeny tiny little laundry space. It also has like a broom and some towels hung up and stuff. And then upstairs, there's a really small little hallway and three bedrooms. To the right, we've got this one. And I pictured this kid was like, into sports or something. <laughs> so they've got like sports stuff, trophies, posters. They have the only hamper in the whole house. This is odd, but hear me out. I find laundry in this game to be so glitchy and annoying. And in the times that I've had more than one hamper, your sims are just not smart. They won't, they'll try and grab all of it. They'll drop it on the floor. I have learned that it is so much easier to just have one. From my gameplay, I'm like, forget it. I'd rather have one. And if not, I'd rather have zero <laughs> because it's so annoying. So the only hamper, the only actual hamper is in here. We also have this, what I'm calling the teens room. I think that they're supposed to be into like music or something. So they've got a guitar, but they also have a little desk with a laptop. They've got some makeup and stuff. And then we have one more kids room down here, which I just thought was so fun. I love the poster layering and this little like polka dot wallpaper. I seriously had the best time decorating this house. And then in the backyard, I think this is probably my favorite part of everything. So you can see we have like this big patio space. We've got these little lounge chairs. We have this huge hot tub. I think that this table looks perfect for this house. I think it fits like so well. And then I made this whole little outdoor kitchen space. It's got some counters and a big grill. I wanted to use the yellow ones like inside so it would match the yellow theme of the house, but it might be better to have used the perfect patio like stone ones. I just, I liked the yellow. So I put them down. And then we also have a swing set and this little tiny garden space back here. I thought this was adorable. We have the flower table, some little plants. There's like a tomato sign, chess table, soccer ball. I mean, all the necessities are here. And I think it turned out really well. So if you're interested in downloading this house, again, I apologize that it has so many packs in it. It's actually kind of ridiculous. I'm so sorry, but I've done a lot of base game versions of houses that are kind of similar to this, which I think helps because again, I keep making the same style of house over and over again. So <laughs> they're all in the gallery if you want to grab them. It's just a little simsy, same as everywhere. And remember, I am streaming a lot this month. I always stream, but especially this month, I'm streaming a lot for charity. So my link is down below. And with that being said, I will stop rambling at you and I'm going to go. So thank you for watching watching and I'll catch you all tomorrow. Bye everybody. Oh my gosh, speaking of tomorrow, my little brother graduates high school tomorrow. When did he get so old?